for over 20 years. Well, um, El Mansour Atelier is a multidisciplinary um, firm in Nigeria in the built industry. Multidisciplinary meaning we offer the full, it's a one-stop shop, full scope of services, architecture, engineering, and indeed construction. So, um, and we've been around for about 20 years and um, doing our own bit in, in Nigeria. The group always look at for clients' obligation and hopefully exceed their desire, needs, aspiration, and interpret to the best of their abilities by carrying their clients along. The management of El Masor Atele strongly believe that if a client A is happy, it will give a good recommendation to client B. That has been the strategy for staying in business. Well, um, look, you always want to satisfy the client and meet the client's obligations and hopefully exceed the client's um, desires as, as the case may be. What we try to do is to be as thorough as we can, try to understand the client's needs, the client's aspirations and desires and um, interpret it to the best of our ability, uh, carrying the client along and hopefully um, deliver successful projects. And um, if client A is happy, he will certainly give you a good referral to client B who will give you a good referral to client C. So I believe that the clients are happy because we are delivering successful projects to them projects that are working, hopefully exceeding their expectations and uh, probably that's why um, we're getting repeat clients and um, staying in business. El Maso Atele as a consultant with the main contractors such as Dantata and Sao Construction Company is currently working on Duse Airport in Jigawa State, Nigeria as well as Bayesa State Airport. The group is also handling some commercial real estate development in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, among other projects. Oh, well, I'll just probably just talk about the ones that we're currently working on now. Um, we're doing the airport, the international airport in Jigawa State, the Dusi International Airport. We're also working on the airport, currently working on the airport in Bayelsa State. In Abuja, we are doing some um, Commercial real estate development in Car Plaza is ongoing, a few other ones around. So um, those are some of the projects we're currently working on. Um, if I go back to those we've done before, I think it will be a very long list and there are many things to talk about today. <laughs> All right, sir. Now, sir, looking at the various range of products, services you offer, mm. you know, um, will it be right to say that there's something unique, there's a unique selling point in your organization that makes your client always want to stick to you guys? What is that unique selling point? Well, um, look, you always want to satisfy the client and meet the client's obligations and hopefully exceed the client's um, desires, as, as the case may be. What we try to do is to be as thorough as we can, try to understand the client's needs, the client's aspirations. Well, um, El Mansour Atelier uh, happens to be the consultant um, for Bayelsa Airport. I think I, I can't put it any, any plainer than that. And the main contractors for the Bayelsa Airport are Mrs. Dantatan Sao, which also happens to be an indigenous Nigerian company. Um, so I don't know where um, people got the idea that um, there are foreigners um, working. I mean, if the consultants are Nigerians and the construction company is Nigerian, um, that suggests to me that these are Nigerian, these are Nigerian outfits. Of course, a portion of it um, will be done by a Chinese company, but the, the key, the key players there are, are Nigerians, and um, it, it's a very challenging project that I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to. I'm actually relishing the challenge. Um, the terrain is extremely challenging, and uh, what we need to do there over a very short period is is, is challenging. But I, I relish the challenge, and I believe that. Uh, we will deliver. Okay. Just as every single project comes with its own challenges, El Maso Atelier is faced with some challenges in project delivery, which comes in various ways according to the project. But the group's team of professionals has been trained to face and surmount challenges no matter how difficult it is. Every single project comes with its own challenges, like asking a father which of your children is even more challenging. I think every single project comes with its own challenge. I'm just telling you about by Elsa Airport, which 
in a, in, a, in a way appears to be the most challenging now because you're working in um, in a very difficult terrain um, it's, it's, it's swampy uh, you need to do a lot of sand filling and you need to consolidate the place in a very very short period and build and deliver your airport so that's just so I think that every single airport has come with its challenges and I, I won't place one over and on top of, of the other. What may be a difficult situation in pro project number one may become an easier pro situation in, in project number two, but then you meet something else which you need to deal with. But that's why we are there. We are trained to, to resolve those, those problems. You've met me already. <laughs> My name is Hakata Duke. I am uh, architect and also a builder. I run a consultancy called Hakata Duke Associates. Um, I used to have a partnership before this called Knox Associates with ar architect Ezibu Okoro until we split and then we formed, uh, I formed Hakata Duke Associates about 14 years ago, 17 years ago. I also run, um, I'm also managing director of a construction company, Megastar Technical Construction Limited. And um, we're in the building industry. We're also in distributive trade in uh, QBC, where basically we, we support the construction arm of the, of, uh, of our group, group of companies. We also have uh, Megamix, which is a precast concrete factory. So, in principle, I'm um, in the building industry. That's where I am. We do. We do. Seriously so. Um, when you start doing big projects, the, the biggest problem with Nigerians is Nigerian businesses, is that we do a lot of business but we are not able to digitally find out how much profit we are making project management that you are describing is the ability to define your profit which means you can do a project and look at the cost of the building look at the overhead of what it took you to build the structure and then you decipher that you made x percent profit so project management is about doing all of it with the right specifications within the right time and within the right cost that's what you're looking at bringing it all together we we unfortunately don't always do that but having said that Having said that, there are some bright young people now coming up in Nigeria, and we are, we are, we are beginning to, to get it right. So I wouldn't say that we don't have, but it's, it's, in, it's, it's in that stage where it's developing and it's doing well. Construction industry has taken a very strong beating, not like banking or telecom, because you know project management is in all spheres, not only in construction. Uh -huh. So those ones are doing better where they're able to decide. So that's why you see bankers working till 10 o'clock because they have deadlines. Uh -huh. In the construction industry, not too many contractors have been able to do that. Partly because of the environment they live in. Partly because of the environment they live in. Partly because of the environment. Because here you are, you get a contract for one billion from government. Everybody drinks champagne and they're very happy that they got a contract from, from government. You get paid only 15%. Then you go there and you start work. And then you get an interim certificate. And it's time for payment. And then they may not pay you for 11 months. So you pack up your bags again and leave. And then they call you after 10 months and they give you money again. So it, 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 it destroys the whole thing. And if you took your claims in, they will. So some governments have a good track record. Some governments don't. So
you are this well time will permit us anything that have a glorious beginning definitely must come to an end well i want to say thank you so very much for all and i believe you must have learned so much but let me just pause a while you've seen the ceos we've carried today they're all nigerians they started small they surmounted the pro the some of the challenges they believe in themselves if you must believe in yourself you must be focused more importantly you must be disciplined if you believe you conceptualize in your heart definitely is achievable they are where they are today because they have actually paid their price i want to encourage you that's watching wherever you are whichever country you are watching us it is possible you can be a success like them if only you believe in yourself this is what will draw the wrap of the program tomorrow they say is another day always believe in yourself pray for your leaders pray for your country and be more careful and do everything possible i'll see you at the top god bless you